Hey guys, this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial showing you how to record from any source onto your standard audio cassette tape. Alright guys, all you need to record a tape is four things. Number one, I have right here. I'm going to be using my Yamaha KX360 stereo cassette recorder. Number two, you need a blank tape. I'm going to be using Maxell Type 1. Next thing you need is a source. I'm going to be using this Sony MP3 player. And finally, you need a cable to connect everything. It's going to be a headphone jack to RCA. We'll just use the red and white for audio. Alright guys, to start the recording process, the first thing we need to do is turn on our stereo system and open the cassette compartment. We're going to take our tape out of the case and put it into the deck. Next thing we're going to need to do is take our source, this MP3 player, and plug the headphone jack side into the bottom. The red and white RCA cables are being ran into the back of the receiver into my tape 2 input. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to want to do is put our deck into record pause mode or record standby. On my deck you push this button labeled REC slash pause. What this does is it gets your meters going and it tells you what kind of sound levels are coming into your cassette deck. Now what we're going to want to do is on our receiver we're going to want to pick which input we're sending into the tape deck. Like I said earlier, with this MP3 player, we have it hooked up to tape 2. So I'm going to turn this to tape 2. Now, we're going to start playing whatever track we want on here. As you guys see, our level's coming in. I'll turn that down. So now what we want to do is we want to adjust our record level on the side here. See if we need to bring this up a bit because the levels are too low. The next thing you're going to want to decide is whether or not you're going to use Dolby Noise Reduction. I usually don't use it because I like the nice natural sound of the tape. So I have that completely switched off here. With Dolby Off, you're going to want your levels to be peaking right at the end of the meters. If you are using Dolby, you want your levels to just be occasionally peaking past the Dolby symbol on the meters. I think that's a pretty good level right there. If you want to adjust your balance between the left and right channels, you can use this switch here. I'm going to leave mine right in the middle. Okay, so this looks pretty good right here. I'm happy with these levels. So we're going to want to make sure that our counter is reset to zero. We're going to restart our track on here. Next thing we want to do is we want to give the tape about an eight second lead in time for it to get onto the recordable tape. So we're going to hit play on the tape deck. And here we go. And that should be good. Good. So I hit stop on the tape deck to stop recording, and I stop my source. Let's listen to it. I'm going to turn our receiver from tape 2 onto tape 1. I'm going to rewind the tape, and we'll hit play. There we go, guys. There's our sound. I'm going to adjust this with the volume dial down here. Sounds very nice. Adjust our bass and treble. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.